Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. Yeah. What up, though? Heist Man the Four. We back at it again. Pop the balloon to find love. Episode 10. Yeah, we finna get into this one, man. We already see what we got. This dude got on a plaid. I don't know what the hell this is, man. Jacket. These shoes. Hey, they're trying to find love, though, man. We'll see if they get their balloon popped. We'll see what it's all about, man. Let's get it. This nigga. Got a bow tie. Slick hair. This nigga. Man. Becky with the good hair ass nigga. Arleta Muli, the African lover. This nigga. Not them pointy shoes. Leather jacket, man. That. Oh my god. This nigga got on a, a bone. This nigga. Oh my god. He came out the house like that. God damn. The hell dress alright though. I see, bitch. That nigga dressed like a stud. Yeah, Country Wayne. Country Wayne on this episode. Oh, that ain't Country Wayne. I don't care how much that shit costs. That shit ugly. That shirt cheap as hell. I don't give a fuck. Nobody said. It's hard, though. Old dirty R.I.P. Wix gives you the power God of damn. AI to build the website Come on, the end. Go straight to commercial. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's your host, Arlette, and we are back What's with up, another man? episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. Okay. And we've got the men lined up. Make some noise, guys. <laughs> okay, okay. We all sound ready. So we See are going bitches. to be bringing out some hoes, single ladies. They're going to come out one by one. When they come on out, if you're feeling her, if she's your type, you know, she checks all of your we, we check got. boxes, whatever it is, do not pop your balloon. But if you know the jacket she says that you're like, that's a red flag or, you know, there's just something minute. you're not feeling, go ahead and pop it. And then I'll go over to each of you and see what's going on, why you ended up popping. Okay, you Lend guys ready? pound cake, Mike. All this right, all right. Let's go ahead and get some matches, okay? <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and bring out our first single lady. Temptation. This, this is, Hello, uh, welcome in. I'll like. have you hold that. What's your name? My name skin. is Cheyenne Sierra Polonese. Okay, she gave us the whole government. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> She's like a little girl. How old are you? I'm 25 years old. 25, okay, and what do you do? Wow. I'm a high school teacher and I'm also a content creator. Nice, okay. Mm -hmm. Are you the YouTube now, what bitch? what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, For me, I'm very You're a red interested. stockings. So I like to do like extreme activities. I love being outside, okay. but I do... I like to stay home too. Mm -hmm. So um, I just went um, like skydiving. She's like, like a little a fucking girl, ago. man. I, I like to do adventurous stuff. Okay. I'm going to see the balloon, pop the balloon. Not pop the balloon. <laughs> you are on pop the balloon. Look at it. <laughs> I'm going on a hot air balloon tomorrow. Okay. So I'm, I'm excited about that. Ooh, yeah, okay, so I'm real adventurous. <laughs> and now, what are some I'm things you look for in a man? For me, out. I want somebody that is a real man of God. I'm talking about like a real ah. one. Someone that is loyal. So if you have like um, somebody in Africa or somebody in Haiti, I could just pop right now. Um, <laughs> I also want somebody that is um, a provider. Okay. A leader, African show. And um, yeah, someone that's fun. The host got an African yeah. husband. Okay. Yeah. And cool. now, so what are some of your uh, deal More breakers? Africans. Me? Mm -hmm. Okay, if you have kids. You should look like ketchup and mustard over there. Oh, I'm sorry. I want mustard okay. over and, ketchup. And, um, ketchup to skin. Somebody that's cheap. I'm sorry. Be too I can't do, to do cheapness. Something. Like, mm -mm. Okay. All right, cool. So we did get two pop balloons. Let's go on over there and see what's going on. Okay. All right, let's go this way. Okay, if we can have your name and age. My name is Kim. I'm 27. Kim? Kim? Yeah. Okay, and Kim, what do you do? Uh, I do a few things. I'm a oh. serial entrepreneur on a record label. I uh, invest in property, uh, invest record in stocks, label. but to fund all that, I work at a restaurant in downtown Phoenix. I'm a server. Okay, all right. Yeah. And now, why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, she said the kids. Yeah, I got a son. He's three. Aww. That's my boy. He's like 
everything you know. to me. So like, you, you know, you I love kids. By the way, I really do. Yeah, he adopt. <laughs> it's just that's that. what's up. Him and his you know, boyfriend. Yeah, I yeah. feel it. I feel yeah. it. And then the thing about that, that's what's up because I, you know, I didn't want to really have a kid with someone I wasn't gonna be with. So if you find that. That's what you need to chase for real. Okay. For sure. All right. Now, before she said the kids thing, you did have your balloon unpopped. Why did you? Yeah, she's beautiful. Like, you know, I love a beautiful black woman. The skin tone is crazy. Like, yeah, she's she's beautiful. And, Mm. like, everything she was saying, she's fun. She's like to be outside but be home. Yeah, she she seemed like she cool. Okay. All right. For sure. Now, um, is Kim someone that's your type? He's not really my type, but he's very, very handsome. Shout out to all the guys, by the way. Y'all, y'all did that, okay? The Kings did that. But yeah, yeah, you're very handsome. Okay. And what makes him not your type? Um, he's just a little bit short. Uh, and then I just feel like. You, bro, like. <laughs> I just feel like I'm not trying to be rude, no, but bad. it looks like you kind of like smoke. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> And there's it's no problem with you, you, you know, being a smoker. I just don't want to, <coughs> like, have the smoker lips. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah the just a little lips, bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Black lips, yeah. I, yeah. I feel okay. it. I respect it. All right, cool. Thank you. Let's go on over to our next pop balloon. Okay. You know what I'm with black lips? We can have your name and age. Um, Dante, I love my purple okay. Dante, what do you do? Uh, I make music for TV and film. That's what I do. Oh, okay. word. Okay. So why did you end up popping your balloon? She said she can't do a kid that's not hers. She can't, you know what I'm saying? Sorry about that. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so how many kids do you have? I only got one. Just one. Okay. Saying, I just got one. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, he's four. Love him. He's like my own little clone, you feel me? Aww. So, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. But other than that, and then also you told a dude he smelled you. Yeah, I, I smoke, so, I mean, smoke your lips. You mm-hmm. No wrong. You don't got the smoke your lips, though. Okay, cool. Say that. You know, I shot my best, to, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Now is uh so is he Dante, right? I'm gonna get my is lips he someone out. that's your type? Oh, he's well dressed. I love his height. You you have a nice smile. Thank you. I just don't really like dreadheads, but that's it. Dreadheads. But that's it. But they're really they're nice. Locks, they're real little girl. Clean. Oh, she look like a little girl. That nigga looks like a damn pedophile beside her. Attractive, very beautiful. And then turn them like she put that red on the neck. So you know. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go back this way because we got one over here. Cox Mobile's hot Come summer deals are here. For a limited time, we'll eligible get customers get select smartphones. For Your name and age? I'm um, Dejon. I'm 30. Okay. And Dejon, Dejon. what do you do? Uh, I work for American Airlines, and I'm also an actor and a model. Okay. You're an actor? Now, why do we end up popping our you? balloon? Honestly, it's the red. I think you're very gorgeous, mm-hmm. but it's just something about the red that does it for me. And then you said the smokers. I do like to indulge. Not every day, but okay. I do like to indulge a little bit. So I want to come home one day, and you'd be like, oh, you smell like weed or whatever. You don't want me. I just rather not even deal with it, but I think you're very gorgeous. I love the red. The shoes are amazing. You just love say you ain't like my red, but you like my red. I, I like the red, but it's like I don't like the red. Oh, it's, you okay. know what I'm saying? But I'm just, you know, I like the red, but I don't like it. It's too oh, much. Okay. I don't like the red. I like the red color, but it's just too much for you. Come on, man. Y'all okay. boring, man. You know what I mean? But I think you're very gorgeous. I feel you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And now, uh, Cheyenne, is he someone that's your type? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's Appreciate real you. handsome. Uh, that nigga's like not green, real handsome. You know, you. yeah, he's real, he's pretty cute. Okay. Thank you. That nigga like Bizarro Thank World. You. Let's go down over here. We did get one over here. If we Dick can have fishing. your name and age. I'm Hendo. I'm 25. Was that Hendo? Ooh. And Hendo, what do you do? Uh, so I'm a Hendo veteran. Gato. I also work in private security and throw uh, parties. Okay. And now Private why do you security end up popping our balloon? For what? So I ended up popping my balloon because when you first came out, you said you want somebody who's real close to God. I'm still trying to find that, so it'll be Put some goddamn like, bass in your voice for you when I'm still trying to look and find. And you brought up dude's height, and you have like four inch heels mm-hmm. on, so it's kind of like, of course, he's gonna be short. And so okay, mm-hmm. alrighty, all right. Now is Hendo someone that's your type? He's not my type, yeah, but he, he seems like such a sweetheart. Okay. He seems like a sweetheart. Yeah. That nigga cool. stomach hurt. He got a shit. He's about to fart here. If we can have your name and age. Tony, I'm 28. Okay. And Tony, what do you do? Um, I'm in transportation, so I drive trucks. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm about to say, nice. nigga, Uber driver. Why do we end up popping our balloon? Um, Because height was a, a preference thing for her. She said he was too short for her, so. This nigga, man. You that know, vest is nasty. I'm not that far from his <laughs> nasty, so. <laughs> okay. But that was pretty much Big it. Like Geppetto. All right. So prior to her stating that, you know, statement, you did have your balloon unpopped. Why? Um, yeah, like she's that a damn. very beautiful young lady. Um, she like put a her waitress. outfit together very nice. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So 
It's a Ron yeah. Goldman head on. Oh, yeah, yeah. She, she's definitely. So you got to stand by OJ. Yeah. Okay. I'll probably approach her if I see him in person. Okay. Outside of it. All right. Now, is he someone that is your type? I know you said the height thing. Yeah, but he's very handsome. So I think I would give him a chance. But at the same time, I would know because um, the, the, the tattoo on the face. Um, I don't know. Okay. It just gives me okay. that you just came from jail and you re- like, you're like changing yeah. your life around. Which is good. No, no, no. I don't know. I don't know if you. I don't know your background history. I just feel like people that have tattoos <coughs> give me that. Well, oh, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. You know, yeah. people going to have. The, you know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Mm-hmm. You Built know, that's buckle. that is what it is. Time. You know, but yeah, it's okay. This nigga right. dress crazy. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go back. So we do have three unpopped balloons. Okay. Did you have Pitch a Wayne. question to ask the guys to go ahead and help you narrow you it down? Gay looking niggas, um, boy. Yes, so I wanted to know, like, how is your relationship with God? Like, are you guys, I'm Christian, so I feel like God should be, like, for firm foundation in my relationship, in our relationship. So how is your relationship with Jesus, by the way? Okay, let's start over here. Your name and age. Is it Jesus? My name is Caleb, and I'm 27. Okay. Caleb, shoes. what do you do? I'm a current grad student, and I'm also an intern at NASA. Oh, Burger King got them. Okay. All right, and now King to go ahead and answer bag. your question, what's your relationship like with God? I'm very close with God. Uh, I'm a Christian, and I've been going to church um, ever shoes. since I was a little kid. Um, my mother instilled that into me um, mm-hmm. since a, a little one. Okay. Bruh, is that jacket a part of the outfit? Okay. Okay. Like, down over here. you take that hot motherfucking shit? Got the Arizona that we'll shit on. You. <laughs> no <laughs> snow. Let's go over here. Okay, okay your name is My name is LaJuan. I'm 27. And Luan, wow. what do you do? I do private security. I own my own. I, I own my own sneaker shop, and then I do transportation. Oh, very this cool. Got on the and so, um, to go ahead and answer a question, what's your Not relationship like with God? I mean, I grew up in a Christian household. Skeleton but as I got level. older, I'm more spiritual now. But I do believe Full in the Most back, High, yeah. most definitely, and I do most my high. devotionals every day, and uh, just following the Word, especially with knowledge and, and wisdom. So, I'm on that journey right now. Okay. Yeah. Came okay. with a, sk- yeah. a skeleton yeah. leather on. Yeah. You ain't For shit, sure. my nigga. Mm-hmm. We'll be right back. We did get a pop balloon right over here. If we can have Chris your Wayne. name and age. Hey, my name is uh, Christian. I'm 29 years old. You look good. Christian, too. what do you do? It sure ain't uh, shit. I fly planes right now. Uh, working on getting my certifications, building my hours, becoming a pilot yeah, for a major airline. Oh, you get hours. Nice. Now, now uh, Christian, nigga. why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, you, you just sound like religion is very important to you. I respect that 1,000%. Mm-hmm. Uh, for me personally, I haven't really found a church home since I've been here in Arizona. Okay. Um, and I you know, I've seen this so one to you. I just didn't want that to uh, be something that becomes a major conflict for you personally. All righty. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. So you say you haven't found a church home, but... Like, are you Christian and everything like that? Kind of like how she asked. Oh, yeah. No, I grew up in churches, you know, uh, playing in like every church, uh, church band or church choir I've been in uh, growing up. Mm-hmm. Um, just haven't really uh, had a church home since sort of uh, college, so. Oh, okay. I mean, that's not bad. I mean, uh, do you still have a relationship with God? Uh, you know, I don't pray as much as I probably should, but I still definitely believe. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. And thank you. Let's go <laughs> back Skinny. this way. You ready? Yeah, we're oh, ready. No. Try my Old Spice. You can use it on your pit's chest and even your toes. Oh, oh that's, that's fresh. fresh. All right, guys, do you all have a question for Cheyenne? <clears throat> oh, let's go back over there. <laughs> don't be nervous. Uh, don't be nervous. <laughs> all right, go ahead. All right, um, how many kids you got? I have no kids. No kids? Mm-hmm, proud right. auntie. Okay. Mm-hmm. How's your relationship with your father? My, me and my dad have a great relationship. I love that man. Like, he taught me well. Quit asking okay. like she gonna pick you, nigga. You had uh, mentioned about the smoke thing, so you don't want your man to do it at all. No, I don't mind if he does it. He can smoke. I just didn't man. want. You know how some people look like smokers? Like right, they have like right, right, they're right. like extra skinny with black lips. They look yeah. like a little bit. I don't know. It just gives. I'm fat I don't with black want lips. Look like. Okay. Um, a crackhead. Okay, because I work out. I mean, I need my medical. So, you yeah, know, I do just, that time to time. Just keep yourself you know. up. You look good though. All like right. you seem like you keep yourself up. For sure, appreciate that. That's it. Okay. Right. That nigga like Cameron <laughs> Payne. You. Let's go back over here. Did you have any questions? I did. Okay. What are your current goals? Them nigga shoes. My ugly goals. Head. My goals is to become the best version of myself. Um, Tell that hot jacket off, bro. And that bow tie. Life, like spiritually, me hot. It's my day. I'm doing that every go. single day. So I'm very goal yeah, driven. Um, yeah, and I'm, I, my goal is also to impact, inspire, 
and to um, influence. So I, I do want to like make sure that anybody who meets me, they're, they're impacted in some way. I do want to spread the gospel. And I also want to build like generational wealth, not just for my kids, but like, I know I'm not on this earth just for me, just to impact everyone. How you go to Christian yeah. Mingle? Thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. So this shit, you looking for a man of God and all that shit? for the guys before you make your decision? <laughs> yeah. Um, rare, where do you guys see yourself in like three to five years? Wait, what do you guys do? And then where do you see yourself in like three to five years? She told like, you what do you feel like is your purpose? He said he's a pilot. Um, so right now I'm a I'm in grad school uh, for business analytics, and I'm also an intern at NASA. So what do I see yeah. myself in the next three to five nigga. years? Um, I see myself working for NASA um, and just hopefully having my partner at that time, um, starting a family, and um, just moving somewhere and just enjoying life. Shut okay. up, nigga. Okay. All right. Let's go. You came in there looking like Lurch, nigga. Tall as hell with a wool ass jacket. My name is Lawan. And, uh, Battle of the Jackets, man. Cause these niggas, the go, Jackets, both years, ain't shit. Owning a few lands, a few units. Mm -hmm. That's kind of my goal right now. I Sweet, got my first a, unit right now. So skeleton oh, leather. Game right okay. now. Yeah, that shit had so, to come with pants, know, yo. That shit uh, had to come like with said, pants. I said, I own a sneaker shop, so I plan on, like, And if it did, why you buy that shit, man? That's why I'm down here, just to kind of explore some things and stuff so I could come I out here more I got some blue often. jeans. So some, some, that's kind of what I see as an entrepreneur. Skeleton on there, man. Okay. Some blue yeah. jeans with a okay. white skeleton on there. Mm -hmm. okay. My wife never wanted to go nowhere with me when I had them shit, so she was like, What is your love language and what are your toxic traits? My love language is like quality 2012, time. Okay. be real. Uh, my toxic trait is uh, sometimes, like when I'm busy and I'm locked in, sometimes I, I can't, like, I don't show as, as much emotion. You got this nigga looking at him beside him. I wouldn't say attention, but, like, you would feel like I'm not giving you enough attention, but I'm really locked in just to be a better provider and be a better version for myself. So I kind of feel like it, it'll it be toxic for a lot of women that came in my life because I was always so busy for them. And they kind of feel like I ain't have enough time for them. So mm -hmm. I feel like that's kind of like one of my toxic traits right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> not too giggling. <laughs> All right. And I think you said uh, toxic trait. And what was the other one? Love uh, language. Yes. <coughs> so my love language is quality time and physical touch. Okay. Um, and I would say my toxic trait is um, personally just caring too much, um, trying to about the other person when it's not reciprocated. Like usually I just Ooh. always put too much effort into that relationship and that person and it's just never reciprocated. So that would be my toxic trait. I kind of like trust um, too soon. This weed weeding oh, right okay. now. God damn. Okay. Okay. All right, Cheyenne, we got to make a decision hey, based Sister off Dye. of these responses you got. So I'm going to hand you on a toothpick. Oh, let me give you I got me Cheyenne out here. Yes. And hi. I know, I know. Those are really. Wait, what do I base it on? Are they answers? Just, yeah, everything you've heard so far, you know, attraction, whatever it may be, like that Passion. you're feeling off of all of, from both of them. Oh. She's like so a little girl, man. And which one are you going to And my niece going okay. to church or something, or the damn they eighth grade talk. graduation. <laughs> <laughs> or a play or something, you know. They both black. That nigga ain't black. You black, right? No, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. I'm black sorry. and white. Black and white? Oh, uh, okay, okay. You diluting the gene um, pool. Um, for breeze that nigga body up. Air mist. And we're back. The team is looking down the barrel of a 4:55 meeting. Come on. Turn it around. <coughs> I think I'm a pop head. Oh, okay, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> you lose it to a light skin nigga. I'm a pop head. You said, wait, you said you do nail saw? Wait, you're not in nail saw. The intern. Intern. intern wait, at and you're majoring in? Business analytics. Oh, okay, and for what, master's degree? Mm -hmm. Okay. I pop my shit in for the show. Oh, I'm just playing. I'm sorry. Okay, so why did we end up popping heads? That nigga head too big. The only reason why I popped his it's because I felt like I liked his career a little bit more. Okay. Mm -hmm. And with your career, I feel like I could build with you because I don't mind, like, building. Mm. But I don't know. I just want, like, somebody that has, like, both. Like, I could build with him, but you still have, like, a stable income. Right. 
I respect that. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but no it pressure. was hard. Yeah. I feel it. <laughs> now I feel like now I regret popping his balloon. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold on. You see, you're you're regretting it. Yeah. Why? What's going on? Why are we regretting it? Because he popped his balloon. Oh, uh, I mean, go ahead. I mean, well, I want you to follow your heart, though. You know, if he had the better answer, see the reason why he popped it. No, but I, I think, I think I want my balloon. Oh, look, look, this bitch, she's gonna oh. win. You see, you fucking bitch. You want your bitch. balloon back? I will, wait, wait. <coughs> no, not, not that you're an option. You're not, okay. a, sec you're not a second option. Uh, that's it. That's there you it. is. Okay. Okay, we, okay. Let's get it. Let's get another balloon for him. Fuck that bitch, wait, man. I got one more question. Go for it. All right. So, you would rather have a dude that has. One million followers or one million dollars? Which one you choosing? One million dollars. Okay. Okay. She she got some. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get that nah, okay. she nah. Uh, so we're. Let's go see what's going on back there. Nah, oh I just God. I just just because she was gonna choose him, man. Oh. I just. What's going on? I just just because no, like. Now nah, yeah. nah, you stunning. Like I, I like your style. I just okay. feel like he was gonna choose him, and I just. That's just After that nigga pop, mind. and I don't want to put you through that. Okay. And I know how, like, how I can get if I feel like I'm an option. So you know, oh. that's all. Uh, <gasps> yeah. Okay. Thank that's you. That's, that's what's reason, up, my though. nigga. It ain't nothing else. Hey, okay. keep your goddamn okay. dignity. Okay. At least that okay. you did Let's go that. Go back over here. Okay. Look at her. And she ain't got no ass. Oh lord. <laughs> Why did we end up popping? She don't know how to walk so in them I felt heels, like right? He was only gonna give me a chance because I said a certain word, which was NASA. So mm -hmm. that's why I went ahead and popped because I feel like there's more. That's what I'm talking than, about. Strong more niggas. Than just, than just, well, uh, half a strong nigga. Job, so that's what oh. I thought. Okay. I, Get you, bitch. I you didn't hear just nobody. Nassau. I heard that you were such a sweetheart. I heard a lot nah, of things. Nah, but you heard that Nassau like at you, the you end. You have like and a we nice were spirit, again? nice soul. So oh, okay. that was one of the reasons also why I stuck with you. But pop. Okay. Thank you. I understand. Yeah, get out here with them whole ass shoes, nigga. Thank you. shit like a Burger King. All right, well. Commercial. That is all the balloons popped. Ketchup and mustard. Yeah, uh. unfortunately, they're lost. <laughs> exactly. But thank you so much for coming on. Yeah. Let's go ahead and give it up Shut for her, up. guys. All right. Uh, Bye, uh, Mike. Uh, 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 thank you. The other one, he looks good. Okay, let's go ahead and bring he out our next sick. single lady. Let's see this bitch. Hello, welcome hey. in. I'll have you hold that. Mm -hmm. What's your name? Tyra. Tyra, how old are you? <laughs> 31. 31, okay. Mm -hmm. And what do you do? I'm an admin assistant for an HVAC company. Okay. And I also Ooh. do personal assistant. Nice. Straight nice. All right. And now, what are some things you like to do for fun? Come on. Season for two. For fun, I like to go hiking. Faces. I like to stay in my house. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I go clubbing. And really just... She I like to work a lot. Part so right most there. of the time, I'm doing my uh, short personal assistant business. That's a short ass nigga over there too. And now, what are some of your uh, uh, what are some things you look for in a man? I look for somebody who's emotionally mature. Okay. Um, she look for a dark skin together, nigga. Knows what they want. And man, why does she look like one of them damn padded rooms? Has a growth mindset. Okay. Pepto okay. Biz mom. And now, what are some deal breakers? Uh, they She's have to like though. dogs. Dogs. Yes. Okay. Uh, and you got a lot of dogs. No, I got two. Oh, you got two. Okay. Yeah. All right. They're not going nowhere. Okay. <laughs> um, and deal breaker, you have to have open communication. If you don't have open communication, you can't be trustworthy, then it's a deal breaker. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. So we did get Come a on, pop auntie, balloon over here. Yes. Over your head so too, going over night. here. We Hello, can have your sir. name and age. My name is Kim. I'm 27. What's up, Tyra? How you doing? How you doing? Uh, yeah, so I popped the balloon because honestly, like, I was supposed to go to lunch with her like last week, but she ain't hit your boy back. So, oh. I mean, oh. I mean, like, on to the next, like, but she's, she's she's like a winner, like, she she cool. We've been knowing each mm. other, she cool. You know what I mean, god damn, yeah, that's why, yeah, okay, all right. So, okay. Tyra, yeah. <laughs> why did you hit him back? What's going on? Honestly, it was a busy day, mm. and as you know, I have a job. And a business, uh, so the communication wasn't there. And I was gonna say that too. Exactly. You, you said it was communication. Tam communication wasn't all that. there. You ain't even hit your boy back. Yeah, yeah but I didn't but feel it's like it's all good. Yeah. So. We still cool though. We still yeah. cool though. Yeah. Probably regardless. Yeah. 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 I still support it. Dang no matter what. All right, cool. Thank you. <laughs> Straight to hula, auntie, auntie vibe. We can have your name and age. So I'm Dejan. I'm thirty. Okay. 
Hey, Day John, why did we end up popping our balloon? She is so gorgeous, but like my man said, the communication part, you start off with open she communication. I love gorgeous. that. I like need that. communication in my life. I love straight the communication, but then you say you didn't hit them back. If, I, if I'm busy, I'm going to make time. I'd have popped my balloon just off she would date him. Like, give you a good excuse, me and that nigga's you know not saying, the same type nigga. So other than that, that's type nigga you like. That's one reason why. Absolutely. You going to give him a chance? Is John someone that's your type? No. Okay, why not? Um... He too light. <coughs> See? I'm sorry. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. <coughs> I appreciate it's you, though. I yeah, like you're gorgeous, it. too. You I know. thank you. I appreciate you. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> you got on a turtleneck. Let's go over here. You cool. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hey, I'm Dante. Uh, I'm 28. Um, the only reason I popped is because, you know what I'm saying, it's really the, the communication. You, you can't say, you know what I'm saying, I need open communication. I need like sit and shot. You know, you, but I mean, hey, if it could have been something else, but I mean, at least relay, you know what I'm saying? If open means, you know, you're going to let me know. Like, you know that built book of nasty, what is that? So, I mean, yeah, that, other than that, like, she like a fruit rolled aesthetic up. is nice. Putting a little His built book like something the Power Rangers, Rangers got I mean, on. Other than that, you know what I'm saying? It's just the communication. Okay. Right. That's some of the shit the Power Rangers say. How are you feeling him? Cool. Okay. I like the swag, you know, everything. How I mean, is that swag? swag? Really that nigga just never stood. It's going to be the personality. I really don't know. And he got a keychain hanging out of his pocket. Appearance wise, absolutely. Absolutely not. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Cool. Thank you. Let's go over here. Okay, if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Yeah, so I'm Hendo. I'm 25. Mm -hmm. I ended up popping my balloon because he previously stated y'all were supposed to go out supposed and you didn't out. have that form of communication with him. Mm -hmm. So it's like, what if the what same shit happened with us? Like, us. I'm cool. I'm cool. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Is Hendo someone that's your type? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay, why not? Um, nigga gay. We the same height and heels. And a nigga gay. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Let's go on over She's here. She's stacked, though. <laughs> if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Lawan. I'm 27. It was just more the communication thing. Like, you my speed, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I kept my balloon. But, you know, as my man said, y'all supposed to go on a date. And I, I got a business, and I do a lot of things. Like, I do that for I'm real. Not gonna so, let I feel you. That so, it's just scares me. more like, hey, let's just reschedule. Let's yeah, I was going to date if you have availability. Me, because so. I'm a busy man, too. So, I might not have availability a week later. So, we're going to have to really, like, practice that communication. But other than that, though, you solid. I ain't going to lie. Yeah. Okay. Let's hear your type. Definitely. Okay. What makes him your type? Um, she like leather jacket sounds niggas. like he's very articulate. And he has she his like own leather business, jacket so niggas. he has a growth mindset. He's not trying to be stagnant. So, yes, absolutely. I would have said mm, we could figure some out. The leather jacket <laughs> sure. is winning. He I got two bitches in one of them. Thank you. Come on, what's this ad about? Cox? Downey makes clothes Downey. softer. Fresher Soft and better. Clothes. We breathe life into your laundry. We life into your laundry. All right. So we do still have two balloons unpopped. Did you have a question to ask the guys to go ahead and kind of help you narrow it down? Um, what are your goals for this year? Obviously, you got no goals. So we don't have too much longer. So what are your goals for your personal and career? Okay. We'll start with your name and age, and then the answer to her question. Yeah, my name is uh, Christian, 29. Uh, my goals for this year, my whole year, is just going to be focused on um, building my hours and uh, getting certifications, trying to fly planes, and uh, just eventually get my job uh, as an airline pilot. This so that's really all I'm focused on for the next almost one year from now. That shirt kind of ugly, Absolutely. but I kind of like it. Let's go over here. Your name and age and the answer to her question. Tony, 28. Um, my goal for this year is to continue on expanding my business and um, do my. I, I got a trucking company that's in progress. You look right like now, a girl that's transforming into a man. So, them pretty much my two goals for this year. Mm -hmm. That beard look fake. Like right. you can get that guys, shit off. You like a bitch in the face. Ask. That nigga really like a bitch in the face of the old dirty. How many? Uh, do you have any kids at this moment in time, or uh, how many would you like to have? I have two furry kids. Oh. Yeah. You, uh. you, yeah. <laughs> He was quick, my bad. <laughs> he was quick. I have two furry kids. Why she squeeze out some puppies? I have a chihuahua. His name's Tank, Big cool. Tank. And I have a weenie dog mix. That's and cute. His name's Rocco. That's cool. No Rocco. kids. That's cool. I like that. Mm -hmm. And I think you said, does she want to have kids? That was your other question? Yeah, that oh, yeah, was the yeah. other question, right? Yes, I do want to have kids. It'll be after 
two years from now. That's fair, that's fair. Yeah. Okay. I'm nutting you off getting your <laughs> shit up. You in this baby, bitch. Wait, what was the question again? No, Sorry. do you have any questions for her? Yeah, yeah absolutely. This nigga so, on gym uh, How was the last relationship? <sighs> Specifically, what are you asking? Like, and overall, she like, don't how like did, you, it, nigga. did it end? Like, <clears throat> all right. You too. Um, it ended with somebody not being honest about what he was doing and I had to step out of the relationship because he wasn't honest. Okay. And we were together for four years and I got proposed to and I said no. After I said yes. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Okay, I mean, so did y'all like at least try to work out our differences? We tried to work it out for some years, some months, some months. We tried to work it out. What is this, the Spanish Inquisition? From July to December. You don't care about yes. nobody else's old uh, relationship. You uh, some ass niggas. We have a house together, so yes, we are still in contact. We have a house together. Eight. So as soon as I figure that out in September, that'll be no contact. Okay. Yes. Oh, y'all still might work it out. All right. Do you have any further questions before you go ahead and make your decision? Oh! <laughs> Why did we end up popping? We end, I ended up popping because it's like she still have, you know, communication, you know, contact with her ex. So obviously it's still something there, still there. Mm. Or, you know, they still have some type of strings attached that is Absolutely. still not fully detached from each other. So yeah, title of a house. Absolutely. <laughs> That's hard to get off of you. Yeah. Very. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so we do have our one unpopped balloon here. Yes. So any final questions for either one of you before we go on up? How long ago was that last relationship? Like, you know, how long ago was did everything end and a break apart, like a whole engagement? That's pretty serious. Very. Um, absolutely. Um, we broke up in July when I found out, and um, I cut everything off. Got my own car insurance, got everything underneath my own name in December. That's crazy. That's impressive. All right, cool. All right, let's go ahead and come south. on up here. Come on up. Yeah. Okay. Any final okay. questions before we determine if this is a match? Sure, yes. Shit again. Okay. Do you have any kids? Is that a deal breaker for you? I'm asking. No, I don't have any kids. Just a dog, Barkley. Breed? Oh, he's a giant poodle. <laughs> Okay. It's like a 90 pound poodle. All right, do you have your own house? N- no, nah, I live in an apartment though. Apartment? Yeah. Do you have your own car? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. No more further questions. Okay, all right. So is it going to be a yes for you for him? Yes. And is it a yes for you for her? Yeah, so yeah, she's real pretty. <gasps> yes, we got a match. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't got no, oh, ain't got no go cost. Like, yeah. I'll take this mic. Thank you guys for coming on. Thank go you. ahead. <laughs> Let's give it up All for right, them guys. <laughs> you got something, nigga? There's nothing more powerful than you. More Making your than thing you. happen. Wix. Really. All right. <coughs> let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. <coughs> All right. We'll see this man. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold this. What's your name? Uh oh. I'm Trinity Charnay. Trinity, all <laughs> right. And how old are you? I'm 23 years old. 23. And what do you do? Pop. I'm a government contractor and I also help other people become government contractors. That weird, big okay. shit. All right. And now, what are some things you like to do for fun? For fun, I really love all things creative. Mm-hmm. Anything that puts me into my creativity, I love to start there. Okay. <laughs> and now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, you have nasty. to be a man of God first thing first. Man of God, and you have to be a leader. Um, well, hey, what the fucking man of God for? Leaders. Hmm. So big leader. A lot of that um, shit on this show. A lot of Africans. And you have to be and church able bitches. to have the same mindset about providing for your woman and really just being a man of a house. Okay, and leading. That's really the things I look for in a man. Okay, and, and now what are some deal breakers? Popped up at the top. Look how Not tall. Not a man of God. You gotta go. <laughs> okay. Who do you follow? <laughs> <laughs> um. Really, that's my. That's the main one. That's it. Okay. That's so it. Bitches don't right, cool. niggas because so they got. So we did get a pop balloon. Man Let's of God. go on over there and see what's going on. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Yeah, so I'm Dejan. I'm 30, and it's nothing against you. It's just a 23. I'm 30. 
Yeah. It's just a little, little too young for me. I need it like 25 and up. You know what I'm saying? Just to be in a little bit of my ballpark. Like I, I love the pink. Yeah, I love the pink, you though. want a mature woman. Definitely. Absolutely yeah. need it. Need it for sure. You but you're gorgeous for sure. Well, Nothing about you. Just it tastes like this. Bitch, you're not white, right? And now, um, is he someone that's your type? Um, He's handsome. And Appreciate because it. he, it seems like he's mature himself if you want a definitely. woman mature. And normally, a 23-year-old, no. I for definitely sure. understand in this yeah, society. Absolutely. But... Yeah, ah, it's gone. A little quick, you did that quick. Yeah, definitely. I, it's, it is what it is, you know what I mean? But you're, you're, you're gorgeous, though, Thank for you. sure. I yeah, it. no doubt. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Let's go back over here. She's faking the face. Now, I'm going to go ahead and have you ask the guys a question to kind of help you narrow it's, down it's, it's, to use boy. more of your match. Have you ever been with a black woman before? For all of them? Really? Oh. Or yeah. are you are, just what asking is your type? Him? Okay. What is your type? Black, like, is, your, is black women normally your type? Okay. Let's start over here. Your name, age, and the answer to your question. Mm -hmm. My name is Caleb. I'm 27. And to answer your question, what's my type specifically? Um, I like black women, um, but I usually um, prefer uh, light-skinned women. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> your name and age, and what's your type? You like men. My name is Kim. I'm 27. Um, I really don't got a type, but I do love black women. Like... Just being who I am, a black man, black women come first, like, no matter what. Don't so, believe yeah, him. I love black women. I, I really don't got a type, though. But like I'm black dudes. Yes, okay. black women, for sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your name and age, and answer the question. Uh, hey, I'm Dante. I'm 28. Uh, to answer your question, I don't really have a preference. Like, it's, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really have, like, a type. You just got to be, like. You're different like white girl. You can't, you can't be, like. Come on, non-athletic, put it that way. You gotta do something yeah. outdoorsy, you know. What I'm saying I like to get out, get active. But I mean, yeah, I, I definitely love my black queens. You feel me? Come on now. She look like, <laughs> like I said, she's yeah. gorgeous. Like I said, you know. Look at him. Your name and age, and answer her question. Um, I'm Hendo. I'm 25, and yes, I do love black women. So, is Hendo your real name? Yeah. <laughs> look at him. Lying. Look at him. Oh. Okay. okay. Sassy as fuck. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> your name and age and answer your question. Tony, 28. Um, I don't have a specific preference. I do love black women, but I've dated outside of black women as well. Of um, course. It just it comes down to the person. That's pretty much it. Okay. You like a weak ass nigga. Okay. Same over here. Your name and age and answer your question. The one. I'm 27. All shades. I'm just gonna be real. I don't got no preference. You a black woman. You a black woman. As long as your personality, like he said. As long as you uh, follow structure, you good. It's pretty much it for me. Yeah. I did get on a fucking skeleton right. leather. Everything you see in this Pizza Hut commercial is Bro, $7. Man, I'm tired of all these this pizza, commercials. $7. Those. I'm going to have you eliminate two of the guys so far based off of you know, two what your niggas. type is and also kind of the old dirty bastard so in the far. Damn so let me go ahead and hand you a toothpick. Let a uh, newspaper shirt. And then once you pop those two, I'll go ahead and ask you why you ended up popping them. Do they look gay? Look. Okay, you and know? one more. And the tall gay one. Oh, short okay, gay. we'll start with him. All right, why did we end up popping his balloon? I mean... He meek. What's your name? That's a question. So That's... you work in government contracting, right? Yes. I have two. I have a TS. So certain contracts, I don't give out my full government name because I don't want that to affect my work. So I don't want like my I job mean, to see. I mean, if you're solid, then it's still a government contract in military. So I come from a military background. Oh, I military. spent five years in the Air Force. I have a TS, and during my time in the military, supervisors and Ugh, they would just go like, "Fix oh, your face, this nigga." Is you, we see you on social media doing this and that. We don't like it. So it's just man, go yeah, take a shit, cuz come back, like, smile at these bitches, man. Trying to get like, a woman. You're I feel like maybe you should like be you across the board if you're going to come onto social media and you can't, do things on social media they're going to find you regardless you're right so it's kind of like <laughs> pick side it's not, yeah. Mm, yeah i'm okay with it i'm here no nothing against you though i just feel like that was a direct answer needed that's fine I'm okay with that's fine <laughs> thank you you don't lose a bitch over not telling All you right. your real and name and then why did we end up popping this balloon because you prefer a light skin. I'm black regardless. Light, dark. I'm black. And That's his preference. You can't be mad at him because of that. You consider me light skin. You said butt. 
I prefer a light skin. So you said you he prefer a light skin. Me, I'm not your preference. If you don't prefer me, take a step back. Hmm. Okay. I understand that um, and how my words came off. Uh, I shouldn't have said prefer. Um, I should have just said um, I just end up with light skins the majority of the time. That's, I don't really have a specific type, but, like, that's the, just the so type I'm usually. So you just let I'm things happen. You don't make things happen. I end up with these things. I don't. No, uh, but I'm just saying, like, I don't go out my way. I'm saying, like, I'm just going to go look for this shade, mm -hmm. right? So it's just, I'm just saying, out of my path relationships, mm -hmm. it's usually just been a, a light skin. Um, mm -hmm. But um, that's just not my specific preference, though. Um, Maybe you could have explained that a little bit better. You are very handsome. Thank you. and But I do prefer black men, let's be for real. Thank you. <laughs> I understand that. It's respectable. Mm -hmm. You say you prefer a black man? Yes, so you're saying he's not black? I mean, like, I don't... I'm too late. Off a of first look, <laughs> off of our first look, I don't, I don't, I don't know. You explained earlier. Yes, he is. I'm black and white. I'm mixed. Okay. okay. Black and white. Mm. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Her wig, Ness. All right. So we are going to go ahead and have you ask these you guys can see another the layers question in just to kind of help you narrow it down. Um, this nigga what do you guys right do for work? This nigga with the um, newspaper shirt, nasty. I think we already got your name and age right, but you can always reiterate if you want to, but what do you do for work? So, yeah, my name is Kim. I'm 27. My 9 to 5, I work at, at a restaurant in downtown Phoenix. I'm a server. You serve him. Mm -hmm. yeah, you work on tips. Uh, I'm downtown. I'm 28, mm -hmm. and I make music for TV and film. That's what I okay. do. So when you look on, like, BET, VH1, Netflix, like, I'm not going to say those are all my tracks, all my beats, but, yeah, that, that's, that's my line of work. That's what I do. She is not impressed. Not Tony, I'm 28, and I'm in transportation. I drive trucks. Don't say you transportation. Say you drive trucks. I'm one. I'm 27. I got my own shoe shop, and then I got private clients. When I drive transportation, and then I do security for Burberry. So I make my own money at this point. So I'm growing that business up so I can be financially free with my own money. So, yeah. Goals. Goals. Yeah, goals. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and have you eliminate again based off of what you've heard. Let's go ahead and pop she two ain't no of ass those either to be that damn tall with it. Vote yes on Amendment 3. Let's Safe, Amendment three. regulated, and responsible. Oh, no. Legalized recreation. Tear into oh. softness with wavy edges. Charmin Ultra Soft Smooth Tear. Tissue, wipe your ass. I don't give a fuck about no Amendment 3. I don't want no legalized weed. I think that's the only crime I commit still as a taxpaying citizen. I don't do no crimes and shit no more. But I do smoke weed and I think that's illegal. And I want it to stay legal. I don't want no legal weed, man. I want to feel like a thug. Nah, I'm playing. Come on, let's get into it. Get your ass out of here, nigga. Okay, let's start over here. Why do we end up popping Tony's? You short? Um, you like a dyke? That was kind of boring. It wasn't nothing like more. Wait, just, what was like, boring? I just drive trucks. I mean, you, you asked what trucks, I do, that's bitch. what I do. Yeah, no, nothing against it. I definitely appreciate it, but like for me, I'm, that's not for me. I get it, you're young, so like, I, I understand. I am young, I am young, and it's kind of like. That wig is um, old, though. Yeah. And I, I feel like I'm here now. That wig I'm nasty. I'm going to grow. Absolutely. And that's just. And that nigga make bread. He ain't gonna be home with your ass all day. Just hearing that from with nothing else, no mm. context, nothing else to it. It's just. And what type um, of context you look for when you ask? <laughs> he said. So he driver. said what he's into now, and then he also went like, okay, but I have these goals and He got all those goals. But he that's said not he... what you ask. You ask, what do you do for work? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I told you. What they do currently is okay because they're bosses. I like a boss stature. Not saying that okay, you're so not you, a boss. You, like you, I like you to somebody who calls the shots. Yeah. I like somebody who can leap me because I call shots. I need somebody who can call my shots as well. Not saying that you can't. Bitch, you're 23. Just like, you ain't gotta wipe your pussy gave, right, bitch. It wasn't like you can handle me. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know me, so. Yeah. That's why you're on a dating show. Sure. Everybody's entitled to it. their own opinion. If you feel right. like I can't handle you, then I can't handle you. Who can right. handle a 23 year old bitch? Over there. <laughs> and we did end up popping his balloon. Why did we pop this one? Um, just because I asked a question, not that you had to add anything to it without any elaboration. I don't, it's not like a match. 
I feel it. Nothing against you. So what, like, like he said, you asked what I do for work, like what pays the bills is I'm a server. But if you want to know, like I run a record label, I make music, I, I invest in property, I invest in stocks. That don't pay the bills right now, so I ain't really want to like throw that out there. Work, I go to work every day, you know what I mean? So that's what I do for work. Right, but, shit, yeah. you go to work, motherfucker. Right. <laughs> All right, so we do have two no balloons left. Right I'm going to go ahead and have the guys ask you a question. Guys, any questions you have? Okay, let's start over here. So tell me how you feel about a man having kids that's not yours. I actually prefer a man with kids because I have kids myself. Uh -huh. And even before I had kids, I preferred a man with kids. Goddamn. Just because I, my father's in my life and I like to see what type of father you are. How many kids you, you got, bitch, you 23? And if you're actually a father to your children. <coughs> so, so you start having kids at what, 19? I have two children. Goddamn. Okay, you beat me, you beat me, by <laughs> one. Okay. But I mean, yeah, uh, you don't smoke cigarettes, do you? No. Okay, cool, cool, cool. How do you feel about, I smoke a lot of weed, like, a lot of weed, like. It's well, immature. nothing wrong with that. You might stop soon, but nothing wrong with that. <laughs> you might, you might slow stop down. soon. Mm, I don't know. See, like, I, I literally just left, like, the dispo on the way here, you know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? You may or may not. Okay. Nothing to do with me. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Okay, cool. Just, just putting Fuck it out you. there. Fuck you. Things People I think. insinuate that I might. All right. We'll be back for you. you, might, you might we did get a pop over stuff. here. <laughs> you All right, why did we pop in our balloon? I hear I had to do it, but just the kids thing, because like I've been through that before and it didn't go well, and nothing against you. It's just the kids gonna always come first. You know I mean, that. Baby daddy, she so got I just I rather really just start. You from, already from understand. Scratch. Two kids. So it's just baby I just really stay out of it this time and not learn from my last mistake. So that's pretty much it. But you know, you stunned. I ain't gonna lie. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> All right, thank you. Okay, sweet. let me bring you on up here. Come on up, come on, on up. Come on up. <laughs> all right, guys. So I have a final question. If you all have no other questions. What you got? Oh, all right. So my final question is, is it going to be a yes for you for her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm with it. I'm with okay, it. I'm with okay. It. And is it a yes for you for him? I see what it is. Oh. Yes, I'm here for it. All right. We got a match. <laughs> All right, I'll take this mic and you guys can go on up. Let's make some noise for them. <laughs> they were lame. They were lame. Dawn Power Wash has three cleaning boosters not found in traditional dish soaps. It's more than soap, it's Power Wash. How much farther we get? Another big day. I'm definitely gonna need my Gillette part the two so I can keep it rolling. Because around here, everything needs. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. See the next bitch. See what this next bitch looks like. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's okay, your name? Adriana. 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 How old are you? Yeah. I am 28. 28. And what do you do? Um, right now, I work in the financial industry. Her um, eyes close and together. I also own my own event coordinating business. Very nice. Okay. And what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, well, I love to dance. I've danced since I was a little girl. Um, I'm also very crafty and artsy, so I love arts and crafts. She's paint, straight. Wine She's night. straight. It's totally my thing. Now, what kind of dancing? Um, all types. I've done ballet, tap, jazz, you name it. Okay. Yeah, all right. I'll do it. <laughs> And now, what do you look Straight, for in a man? But it's not Ooh, her face, that's though. a tough one. Um, I look for someone with integrity, someone who is intentional, who knows what he wants and goes after it like full force. Mm -mm. Um, my best friend, close together. someone who I can have fun with. I'm she a big crazy kid, so I like to have fun. I like to you go on a side window tooth up there. I'm a big foodie, so mm. feed me. Let's eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now, what are some of your deal breakers? Got some legs breakers. on her, though. That's a tough one. Skin? Um, she's straight. I bet she's a lot of I would daddy. say someone who's very, like, egotistical. Child um, really like that nigga. I know that I look a little high maintenance, but, like, I think that the core of who you are is what's the most important. So I'm all about, like, vibes, and I feel like I'm really good with energy. So if I feel like you're, like, just not real then you're not for me you're yeah, for it okay yeah. all right <laughs> so we have not got any Ice pop balloons water, yet Ooh, okay <laughs> so for the first round everyone always says it's a little bit tough because i am gonna have you ha um pop two balloons just yes two girl <laughs> just based off of you know what's not mm -hmm. your typical type what you're I don't not look at that face all that day. stuff so let me give you a toothpick you gotta get used to that face <laughs> there you go and then you go ahead and just pop those two and then i'll Ask you why we ended up popping. We're going to get the little, the little soft looking oh, one. Oh, 
<laughs> just have to look. Yeah, or you okay. know. Say, don't yeah. see that. Even that's hard. Okay. <laughs> Even that's hard. She, you know she's going after him. Okay, you and one more. Long. Start right over here. If we can have your name and age. I'm Hendo. I'm 25. Okay. Hendo. And Hendo, five. why did you have your balloon unpopped? Um, cause she was just talking about how she's going off of energy and stuff like that in the beginning, mm -hmm. and that she was a dancer and she likes event coordinating. So I'm known for throwing like parties and events myself. Mm. So it's like okay. Yeah, prime parties, motherfucker. We don't work out relationship wise, then we can still probably do something. We'll throw something together. Yeah, networking. <laughs> okay. okay. We definitely still can. We still can. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now why did we end up popping Hindo's balloon? Um, I think for me it's just like general like style personally. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do like your style. I love your shoes. I mm -hmm. like your jeans. I think just like Together, it wasn't for me, but also like height's a big thing for me. You look I meek, like to wear, nigga, you look these are not high, but I like scary. to wear really high heels. So they can't you protect you. To, like, keep I'll take up. your bitch, nigga. <laughs> That's fine. <what I'm>, <laughs> looking at him, All right, I see you. some disrespectful okay, shit. Let's go over here. I know he can't We're fight. Popping this one as well. If we can have your name, I'm scared of him. I'll be like, hey, what's up, baby? Okay, and Luan, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I am a Damn balloon on pop because Nick. you mentioned like financial literacy and that's kind of part of your industry and I really adore that because I'm very intelligent when it comes to financial literacy. So having like, you know, a partner that's into that, I feel like we can really yeah, make a jeans. lot of what money things and on manage on his it. Jeans. So that, that kind of caught my attention, but hey, you popped your balloon. Oh, you got like book bag straps on his good. jeans. It's all good. It's part of the game. Yeah. yeah. Now, why did you end up popping his balloon? Uh, honestly, it was a really tough struggle um, for me. Again, I think they pull it, it just went with like kind of like your style, your vibe. I just don't really think that we're like the same aesthetic. Okay. <laughs> so, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then yeah. got yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we did get a pop balloon. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Tony, 28. Um, she said height is one of her uh, key factors. She said... Uh, you have to be a taller guy, so. I wish I was a little that, bit taller. She's not really my baller. type. Mm -hmm. um, I like my women a little more thicker. Yeah. That's, that's pretty much it. She's straight, though. She, okay. she got a body. <laughs> and I know he mentioned the height thing. Oh, um, so is he someone that's your type, or was it was he? Uh, I think I'm looks wise, too. yes, he's definitely my type. Um, you but like yeah, not type? with the height. So. Okay. <laughs> She's straight, Thank you. Now we did get another pop big ass face. It's fine. We'll get you another one. Like Want to get the most out of one sheet? Grab Come bounty. on, man. Do some bounty. Wipe that bitch head ordinary brands. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Yeah, so I'm Dejon. I'm 30. Only reason I popped is I, I just want a little bit more thickness to you. You know what I'm saying? Jeez, or just for me personally. Let me you see know, this I bitch like again. your aesthetic is very, very immaculate. Just a little bit more thicker for my taste. Yeah, you know honestly, saying? some days me too. So. Yeah. <laughs> 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 exactly, exactly. But you're very gorgeous. Thank I you. really appreciate She's it. Yeah, great, man. All right, and now, is he someone that's your type? Um, I think. Definitely, yeah, he'd be my type. Thank okay. you. Um, I think it. I like his style, I like his vibe, so yeah. That's, Thank you. that's style. Okay. Okay, so in the we do still have two balloons left. I got the same outfit, I'm going to go ahead and have you ask the guys a question just to kind of help you narrow it down. Okay. Um, what is something that you're passionate about? Okay, let's start with your name and age, and what are you passionate about? I'm passionate about my family, um, especially I grew up, uh, I'm a my mama's boy, as some would call it. But I grew up with my mom, in the and room I kind of wasn't close with my dad's side of my family. As I grew older, I got closer with my dad's side of the family, and so I've really, I'm really passionate about um, family. Try to get that black I, side of your family. When I grew up, I wasn't, I was kind of like uh, just raised on my mom's side. It was a smaller side, and then White I found side. out about a huge side of my dad's side of my you family that I didn't know about. Side. So you try to get your um, that's black one of the things I'm really, um, that re resonates with me. Um, Look, man, that Johnny son, that little light skinned boy. That. Yeah. I mean, if you could just let her know your name and age. Oh, my bad. Uh, Caleb, and I'm 27. Caleb. He definitely got a white mama. Let's go over here. Your name and Caleb. age, and what are you passionate about? My name is Kim. I'm 27. Kim. Um, I'm passionate about music and. Uh, that shirt <coughs> nasty, and my, own my nigga. Uh, I work every day towards like just figuring out how I can keep investing into my future because I can't work for nobody my whole life. And I, I need, like, I need. Um, time freedom like i need my time i want to be able to kick it with my family i got a kid so i don't know if that's a deal breaker but 
um, yeah, I need time to be able to kick it with my son and like not stress about like where's the money coming from. So mm -hmm. like I need to, I'm building my own infrastructure. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm passionate about right now. Okay. All right. Yeah. And now, guys, do we have a question for her? Nigga. Yeah. 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 You got any kids? I do not have any kids. Um, I do want kids. That's what's up. So. Okay. Anything over here? Um, where do you currently live? <laughs> um, I live in the Midtown area, okay. so like near downtown area. So do, do you want someone that lives in Phoenix, Arizona? Um, I mean, it doesn't necessarily matter. Where do you live? Uh, I live in Houston right now. Okay. Listen, I want to go to Texas. I haven't been, so I really want to visit. Why the fuck are you there for? <laughs> okay. okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Any further questions before I have you pop one of their balloons? Um, or if... What's your zodiac sign? Aquarius. Okay. I'm a Virgo. All right. All right, all right. I see that. I sense it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and have you pop one of balloon, balloons. Power bitch. Oh my gosh, this is such a tough decision. Get the Burger King shoe nigga okay. up out of here. That whole ass outfit he got on, man. Sorry. The nigga dressed like the penguin. <laughs> Why do you end up popping his? Um... I do want kids personally. I do want to be with someone who has not had kids before. I kind of yeah. want to be, you know, that first experience. So yeah, that's, that. that's my biggest thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. Do that, do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me have you step on over here. Let's step out here. And oh, sorry, let me come on, this nigga out here, please pass out. There man. you go, yes. <laughs> okay, any final questions before I ask my final question? That shit ugly. Oh, yes. What's your relationship with God like? Oh my God! Um, I'm not gonna miss out honestly, on Honestly, no I God grew up question. with a pretty close relationship with God. I'm going to church. I went to a Christian university for college. Um, you go to TCU. I feel like I kind of got out of touch with that a little bit, but I'm finding my way back. So, I'm I'm trying to grow more of a relationship. Go to church more. Read more. So, expand. Okay. You good? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You good? I'm good. All right. <laughs> so, is it gonna be a yes for you for her? I'm about to say no. Wow. <laughs> Why are we saying no? I liked everything she was uh, saying. I like how she was really adventurous, um, and she had a lot going for herself. Okay. But um, I was just trying to give her some time and mm -hmm. see if uh, she kind of warmed up on me. Um, I don't think our personalities would really mesh, um, so I didn't want to just waste any time. Mm. Okay. I appreciate that. <laughs> Damn, bitch. <laughs> All right, well, have you stepped back on over there? Girl, that's all the balloons popped, unfortunately. Hey, <laughs> Thank you so much for coming Thank on, though. Thank you. Let's well, give it up you. for her, guys. I'll take the mic. You like an allergy yeah. pill, bitch. You got like a Benadryl. Oh, that goddamn pink on. Get select smart goddamn phones Cox for as low as $20 a month with 0% financing from Cox Mobile. Sponsor me, Cox Mobile. All right, Mobile. let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Oh, see what this bitch look like? You see this? Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold this. Uh -oh. What's your name? Hi, my name's Soraya. I'm 25 years old. Soraya, okay. And what do you do? She's I work in healthcare. Though. Healthcare, okay. Yes. And what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, I like to go to the gym, Pilates, Pop. interior design, gym. painting, coffee shop. She looks okay, boring. She like looks boring. <laughs> All right. And now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, a man of love. God, first and foremost. Man of God. Um, I like a man who's healed, um, mm -hmm. adventurous like me. I'm very spontaneous. Um, Your shoes goal nasty. Goal-oriented, goal-driven. Mm -hmm. And funny because I like to laugh. Okay. Yeah. And now, what are some of your deal breakers? Straight um, I, love I would bump say right like a narcissist. Mm. Hey, I'm a narcissist. Or like I'm... someone. Well, she got a little yeah, bump back there, y'all. Y'all okay. can see it, man. Sorry, <laughs> All right. So, we have not got any pop balloons yet. That's important. <laughs> You're doing good. Good. <laughs> titties, <yeah. laughs> so, for the first round, I am going to have you pop two guys' balloons. Okay. Just kind of based she off of what's not really your like time, where you're not really though. feeling. So let me give you a toothpick. We need to see this bitch face up close, man. Oh, there you go. Then oh, I'll let you go ahead and pop those two. Then I'll go ahead and ask you why we ended up popping. Okay. <laughs> um, we ain't get midget man up out of here. I don't like this at all. <laughs> she's a boring. Like she, she's like she make I'm love. Sorry. She ain't okay. fuck nobody One more? ever. This All nigga, right, man. Let's start. 
the first one you popped. So if we can have your she name and fuck. age. Tony, 28. Okay. And Tony, why did you have your balloon um, unpopped? Because um, I just wanted to see what she was going to say. She's definitely a beautiful young lady, but I just wanted to see what she had to offer pretty much. Okay. All right. And why did we end up popping Tony's balloon? Um, you're very handsome. You. I like taller men. That's it. You're very okay. handsome. Thank you. All right, let's go to our next guy. It's so we can have bitch. your name and age. And I'm Hendo. I'm 25. Okay, and Hendo, why did you have Kevin Hart was in that shit. Pick you. So she said she like adventure, and that's something I'm into myself. Mm -hmm. So it's like at any moment we can just wake up and go do something, whether it be a day trip or just a random spontaneous date. Mm -hmm. okay. So therefore, I was just like, okay, I'll see where it goes. Okay. I love to see and that nigga. Why did we end up popping Hendo's balloon? You're very handsome as well. Just, I, I do like taller men. I so think you're very handsome. Man. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. All right, let's go back over here. <coughs> so I'm going to have you ask the <coughs> remaining guys a question to go ahead and help us narrow it down. Okay. Okay, I'll start with you. Um, who are your role yeah. models in your life? Your name and age, and who are your role models? My name is Caleb. I'm 27. And my role model would have to be my mom, um, hands down, just because uh, she's taught me a lot growing up. Um, so and I haven't, cliche. I haven't met uh, a stronger woman than her. Uh, she raised me as a single mother, um, so that would be my role she model. She has some long feet. I love that. I also have a single mom, too, so I can relate shoe. to that. I love that. Okay. My name's Kim. I'm 27. Um, my role model, I would have to say, would be God. I don't know if that's, like, valid, but... I just want to move like a guy, like a man know, of God, God like, like you know, nigga. somebody with integrity, somebody that, you know, you stand on what they say they Jesus, can do. Somebody. Um, Jesus yeah, so just walk move the earth and do some like shit. a God, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's my role model, really. That's fake, Move nigga. like a God? Well, God is my role model. Okay. That's, that's, get out of here. How is God your role model? Right, that's corny, man. Like nigga. I said, like, uh. Um, God ain't never did no feet. I don't want to, I'm never going to be perfect, you know what I mean? But God is perfect, like he, you know what I mean? He. He does what he says he's gonna do. How you know? Uh, he makes mountains move. You know how what I mean? You know? He's a provider. He's on time. How you like, know? That's, how never on time. Sure. that's who I, you know, just follow every day. I look to towards God. I talk to Him if he I need any on direction time. on anything. On and I just ask Him to lead me towards life, and I just follow. That shit was gay, my nigga. You should never came Thank over you. that house. No doubt. That was bullshit. The biggest event in the world is on? coming: the Olympic Games in Paris. The Olympics. All right, your name and age, and who's your role model? So I'm Dejon. I'm 30. Uh, my role model is my father, a 23-year combat vet. Um, he's instilled in me more than I could ever imagine for any man to, to, to instill in me. I played sports growing up, coaches, all that kind of stuff like that. My father was just hands down, yeah. just the guy that I always wanted to be, always this wanted to look up, up to. Be so shout out to the fathers out there in these streets, man. Definitely. Thank you. Yeah, no Love doubt. that. Father yeah, first. Sure. All right, let's go to our last guy over here. Name and age, and my who's kids will say role? about me. My name is Luan. I'm 27. My role model, my uncle, he showed me life early. At least like, you got a man in your fucking life. That's what he dudes ain't got. That's why he over there. So, you know, he took me, you know. Looking like, like he that. showed me the Mexico. Old, he bastard. showed me all kind of places, you know, how to how to live a boss lifestyle. So that kind of motivated me to become a boss. You got on like the fucking him. skeleton so, leather, yeah, my nigga. pretty much my lifestyle, my role model. Okay. Yeah. So how are you a boss? No, I own my own business. I have interns work for me. Okay. Oh, and I and, uh, gonna work, uh, working on I mean, building that and paid, expanding so that. They do work, for sure. My bad. My okay. bad. My bad. And so I, I refer myself as a I'm boss and teaching them how to do business as well. And, you know, I'm a real, like, example, you know, getting it from the mud. So I'm, okay. I ain't had nobody pass nothing down to me. So Should I'm telling them, some better goddamn outfit. I'm telling them about financial literacy. I'm teaching them about social skills because that's very important, too. So, you know, I'm teaching them all kind of things to, to become a better version of themselves. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Thank she you. get boring, yeah. man. Y'all need to hear this speed this <laughs> okay, shit up. Okay, so I'm going to have you pop two balloons based off of what you've heard. Okay. Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm get midget man out of the way. Okay, I'm and sorry. then one more. <sighs> oh. This is hard. I know. <laughs> get that nigga. I don't know. <laughs> look, look, I pop mine about you. Like, you, do, you walk like you gonna walk up to me, man. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, since we're here, let's start here. Why do we end up popping heads? I loved your. She answers. cut her steps down too. I um, see. The whole she like. I think it's just the style a little bit. Right. Right. Just like more like business casual. Okay. You said come as your best and like you went on a date, so 
leather jacket, jeans, tennis shoes. And it was a little casual for me. Okay. But I liked your answers. You're very handsome. Appreciate that. No problem. Appreciate that. Yeah. All right. Well, okay. then let's go to our Moment. other popped balloon. Why do we end up popping his? <clears throat> um, I don't know. I just took from your answers, like, you have, like, a God complex a little bit. Nah, he just um, got You said you wanted to be like God. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with being like God. I, I want to be like God. Being, like, if I can be a God, I'll be a God. Mortal. <laughs> yeah. Um, kind of confused like me a little bit, so. He just yeah. he yeah. said some yeah. dumbass shit. That's what he said. You're very handsome. Appreciate it. He said some dumbass <laughs> shit. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and have you ask the guys another question. Um. Okay. Uh, what is your best emotional quality? Emotional quality. Being able to shut the fuck up, that's what I say. I feel like I'm very caring um, about the individual. I'm making sure her needs are met. Um, just being a provider and being very supportive of, uh, supportive of her um, in every way, shape, or form. You look like you want to ask more. I think I do. So okay. you said you're you're caring, you're a provider. How how like what's an example of you doing that? Like how do you show that you care? Um, so me, I like to go out my way and do like the little things. I think the little things uh, matter the most. Um, so if I'm just out um, and I know I'm make a quick trip and go get a favorite coffee or if I see some of her favorite color, um, just getting things like that, just to doing the small things that I know will just brighten her day. Okay, I like that. How many more minutes like we that. got? Okay. I'm awesome. tired of this Here. shit, man. All right. What was your minutes. question again? Uh, what's your best emotional quality? So my best emotional quality is probably the control I have over my emotions. You know, I'm not like a man that lets emotions get the best of them. You know, I'm always thinking twice about things, left, right, up, down. Um, just having control because I think once upon a time I didn't have control of my emotions. But now I do, and it's like I've grown a lot since then. And I think that's definitely my most Im important emotional thing is to have control she's over my emotions. Though. Okay, For sure. I agree. Yeah, definitely. She's, I like a, she's that. just a little yeah. girl. Okay. Look like okay. man, she's, she's twenty-five. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and guys, do we have a question to ask her? Uh, Wawa's roasted chicken is tender, juicy, and perfectly seasoned to be the start of your next meal. Try one of our signature recipes. Fuck out of here, man. Yes, I do. So, um, some people would say like their past relationships are regrets. Um, I personally don't look at it like that. I like to think of it as like lessons learned um there's th uh, different things um that you could take away from what a relationship to kind of learn um something you did right or something that could have been done better so i would have to say my question to you is what is a lesson learned um in terms of like growth from that you could take away from your past relationship that's a great question um i think just overall patience um, in the past, when I was younger, I used to be really impulsive and impatient with she my bitch, uh, emotions and, and just how I would Come react on, get to, to things. The damn point. <laughs> okay, all right. Any final questions between either one of you? I got one. Um, do you like traveling, and are you opposed to someone that doesn't currently live in Phoenix, but maybe possibly or actually gearing towards moving to Phoenix? I love to travel. And if you are possibly thinking of moving to Phoenix, then that's good. Definitely. Where do you live now? Uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay, I've never been to North Carolina. That's so, cool. Shoot. Yeah, I got a reason to come. Yeah. I work for the airliner, so I fly free, all that kind of oh stuff like God, that. Oh my God, it's better. I'm mobile for sure. Super awesome. mobile. Definitely. Awesome. Also, you have any kids? No. Do you Perfect. have kids? No kids. Okay. Yeah, no kids. Okay. All right. So my Phoenix final Raleigh. question, is up? it going to be a yes for you for her? It's a definite yes. Shout oh. out to the 252. Is it a yes for you for him? Yes. We got it. 919. Yes. I'll you take go. this mic and you guys can go on off. Uh, yeah, let's give it up for them. I want you little bitch, nigga. <laughs> that, nigga look, that nigga look mad at like, damn, man. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Look like the last bitch right here. We'll see if she look like. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold oh. What's your name? My name is Rhea. Oh. Rhea, how old are you? I am 29. 29. I just turned 29, fun fact. Oh, okay. May 7th. All right, happy birthday. She looks stallion, though. Hold on, let's see and, what she uh, like. Rhea, what do you do? Oh, I'm no. I'm a financial advisor. Okay, nice. Yeah. And now, yeah, she built, what do you do for fun? Well, I'm a financial advisor oh, by no. profession, but for fun, uh, I am an artist. Pretty much. He's built like passion. an AT. And I like reading. Did she cross out with her face with her that's head? That's what I like doing. Like, oh my God. I like doing anything that's, that's not boring. Get some legs on it though. 
pretty much like I'm pretty open minded. You know, I like doing a lot of different things. That's okay. nothing weird. Yeah, baby when you say nasty. artists, what kind of artists? Like, what do oh, you do? I songwrite and I make beats. Oh, Some thighs cool. on yeah. the boy. <laughs> now, what do you look for in a man? Well, for one, I feel like I need a guy that is led by God. Mm. That's the number one thing because if he's not led by God, then he can't lead nobody else or himself. Mm. You know, second thing I would say, he has to be passionate um, and spontaneous. Somebody mm -hmm. who has a little bit of a oomph about what him, you know, know like knows that. what he likes to do. Is not like a super boring person. Look good I too. Mm -hmm. I thought you was just and drinking for And the last thing for a guy. She look crazy. That's my top three. What is the last thing? <laughs> you better call her the <laughs> fuck really back. Last. Oh no, you're good. <laughs> now, what are some of your deal breakers? A deal breaker. Mm -hmm. She ain't um, got a fucking answers ready. Someone who isn't authentic. Mm. Someone who always wants to do what this everyone else is drive doing. By your car and Someone who throw shit at is not shit. able to be true to himself. Okay. She scratch your uh, car. That's up, like my number one deal breaker. Got shit. it. Okay. So we have not got any pop balloons yet. <laughs> so what's going to happen this, is I'm going to go ahead and short actually nigga, switch on over to you. All right. So no for the bitch. first round, I am going to have you pop two balloons. Oh, pop two balloons. Two. two. Yeah. Just kind of based off of you know who's not really she your type. Wait on the dough. Really fill in all that good stuff. So let me she give you two pick. So she might do some. Okay. There go, and then you could just go ahead and pop those two, and then I'll go ahead and ask you why we ended up popping them. So, just she put like, on the damn girdle or something. Yeah, Snatch just shit up whoever you're bit. not feeling Whatever. so tight, so far. This is yeah. different. Corset, okay. yeah. Yeah. corset. Um, <laughs> oh. And one more. Just because I'm a lot shorter than everybody me. popped this nigga okay. balloon. Okay, if we can have your name and age. Oh my God. I'm Hendo, I'm 25. Okay, and Hendo, why did you have your balloon unpopped? So I left it unpopped because uh, when she first came out and you started asking her questions, she had a lot of uncertainties. Mm -hmm. So I was just waiting to see if she was more certain like further on with the questions that you were asking, like if she knew the exact answer of what she wanted. Mm -hmm. So I was just waiting to gauge. Okay, all right, but is she someone that is your type? Um, no, not really. Oh, okay. And why not? Just... Hmm? Like, what makes her what <laughs> makes her not your type? Undecisive uh, ass nigga. It was just really just, like, the uncertainty portion. Mm. Like, you didn't know exactly what Isn't you wanted. like mean on here. Okay. Right. Like a damn now, black Chinese man? Um, of a Japanese movie I or something? really see him as somebody I could like step out with. Hell so, no, she can't step out with um, him. I'm a little bit taller than him in heels. And then You look gay, my nigga. Yeah, What's we it? just dress a little bit different. So it's say, that's it. Really gonna it. dress the elephant in the room. Thank you. Let's go over here. We like, can have your name good. and age. Tony twenty eight. Okay. And Tony, why did you leave your balloon unpopped? because uh, I just wanted to see what she had to say. Um she definitely uh nice looking lady and everything but i wanted to see what she had them niggas ain't got no choices i wouldn't pop my balloon right. if i was in now why did like, we end up popping tony's balloon it's really just the same thing you know right. just more so no like I'm a little bit taller than him with heels on and more so i just feel like we dress a little bit different which you do look oh, good no. you do thank look good appreciate that you oh. as well Thank you. Right, thank you. This is popping balloons like a motherfucker oh, down there. I got you a new total body deodorant. Total body deodorant. Why? Wash your ass. It's Old Spice Old Gentleman's Spice. total. And then we did get two pop balloons back here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Kim. I'm 27. Um, <clears throat> I popped it. You a good vibe. You pretty. Everything. Um, it's just I don't see myself like being your man. Like you cool as hell. Like you do music and beats. Like we probably can work because that's the industry I'm in. But. I really just, she cool as hell, but I just don't see her like being my girl. And like, mm -hmm. I low key came to find love. So, like, I just low don't key. see her being my girl. That's it for real. Okay. She should have had a right. corset on. Now, how, do, how are we feeling about Kim? Is he Tighten someone that's your type? A little bit. No, he's not. Okay. Why not? Um, The shirt looked like a newspaper for real. Ah. I'm not really feeling the shirt and the, um, the okay. chain. I ain't really feeling it either or the shoes. Mm -hmm. So. And he didn't give me a chance to actually speak, mm -hmm. and you know he didn't give a conversation. She so did like him. Who's not meant That's why like she judging this nigga, reading him so much. And but she popped this nigga balloon at first. Pass a judgment. I had. I was forced to pass a judgment. Right. But you right. If someone wants to say, "Oh, I just don't see you as my girl," you yeah. don't even know me. Mm -hmm. So that's how I felt. 
Yeah. yeah she, so he's not my type. Okay. She hurt. <laughs> she hurt. Thank you. All right. Your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Caleb. I'm 27. Um, I just popped because uh, I just felt like she was looking for um, someone authentic, and I just felt like I couldn't get that authentic side out of her. Kind of like felt like uh, she was like, uh, it's the monotone, and just kind of gave off like an NPC vibe. Like, I just want more out of you. I um, couldn't really get that. Um, so I just I learned that from the kids. Okay. All right. So is Caleb someone that's your type? Um, he's not physically unattractive. Hmm. Like, but energy wise, no, he's not my type. Okay. Because to say you get an NPC vibe from me <laughs> and I hadn't said anything, <laughs> that's just, to me personally, I like to kind of get to know people. I really like to get a, a sense for who they are, you know, before I make any judgment calls. So now I'm he's judging, my type. man. Come Based on. off of personality. Find the next nigga. Appreciate me trying to come out and dress up. Uh, they said come. No your real hair and stuff, which I'm sure you do, but I don't want to see more of that. But if you if you got that, then we good. But other than that, though. Uh, Baby, uh, they said come dress to impress. They said come to look good. Woo. You know what I'm saying? I hear you. So I hear you. if you don't like me as a woman, like dressing myself up, if you don't appreciate me trying to come out and Woo. dress up for you, then I'm not the one for you. So I ain't got to answer none of your other questions. Okay. I, I, Honestly. I understand. I understand. I well, didn't say you wasn't attracted. I'm just saying, like, I'm pretty sure you have another side of you that I would like to see more of the natural side. I mean, I've seen this side of you, but I want to see the natural side. Well, honestly. I mean, if I'm going out on a date, if I'm going to go step he out. He want to see what you look like with all that bullshit on. They ask me to dress to impress. You like he ain't trying to be fooled. Do is do that. He know what you look so like underneath this. So my question is, if I'm expressing like if we was in a relationship and I'm expressing you Take how that I shit feel, off. I, I feel like, like you coming in my neck right now. Which you know I got tough skin, it's cool. But like I'd rather for you to like understand that like okay, I got that side of me. You, you trying to win a bitch? He's like man, this is right the last now, this bitch. Is who I, am. I gotta right win now, her. That. Where are you from? Is. I'm from Tennessee, Nashville. Yeah. What part? Nashville. Nashville. Yeah. Okay. You been there before? Mm -mm. Uh -oh. yeah. been you try to win, you see? There one time, yeah. Going to Atlanta, but I've never right, right, actually been out there. And you like, trying to win? You trying to get any questions? I don't questions. know the vibe of the city. You trying to? He it, it, it's all right. You trying to win? You trying to win a bitch? Like, I got to get them bitches. Man, it's called for alcohol. You know, we got to think a few things like Basic that. Basic city, right? Basic right, city. right, right. Nothing special, but it's all right. But no, like I, I had to pop though because like, like why would you? I don't know. To me personally. They told us to come dress to impress. Yeah, yeah. So you like did. for me, you when did. I go out, I like to, I like to dress up. You did. And like I like to put my shit. Like I'm sorry, I don't want to curse. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I like to put it on. But of course, I still look good without makeup. You know, makeup I mean, doesn't yeah. completely. We gotta change see you, man. Like, you got a dead, not a dead eye. Well, you gotta, say. Can it? Sometimes it can. Your friend, I know you see your friends that you know. I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes, hey. it, but it doesn't. Who's well, expressing? Look, got the nigga got the balloon know? back. What's up? My question is, you see, what's the pettiest reason that you've ever not dated someone? Kind of like if somebody come out dressing, like if we appearance is everything, like you were saying, so like if they coming out down and I'm just like, hey, like you could do this and that and then you'll be fine with that. You know what I'm saying? And if they can't comprehend that and they just want to come out all bummy and scummy and stuff like, okay. nah, we good then, straight. I actually really feel that. Yeah, because you <laughs> represent me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, I, I yeah. feel that, I feel yeah. that. All right, guys, so they my final match, question, man. is it going to be a yes for you for her? Yeah, it's going to be a yes. Okay, and is it a yes for you for him? Yeah. Uh, we got a match! <laughs> all right, I'll take this mic and y'all can go on up. Let's make some noise for that. See, we already seen what that was. I did anyway, man. It was last call for alcohol. He had to win, man. <coughs> he like, look, I got to leave me with me, bitch, up out of here, bro. I can't be, nah. Like, it's the last bitch. I got to I got to do it, man. But that's episode 10 of Pop the Balloon, man. Pop the Balloon to find love, man. I do this shit. I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m., man. Y'all got to come through and holler at me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimper that I'm putting out when I put it out. Um, 
like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Join the conversation. We're going to do this again, man. Um, I think there's one more episode so far, or this season, or whatever, episode 11 coming up. We're going to do that, too. Um, This episode is kind of boring to me. Not like that, but, you know, just to... Mm -hmm. We're going to see what's next, man. Episode 11 coming up. Check it out, man. Check out anything else on this channel and whatever. Blase, blase, blase. I'll let you boy. Heist man the foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. This is a dangerous group. Is it groups that we're dealing with now? All right. This time. But I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.